Today, we have the opportunity to send a clear message to worried couples that the federal government will continue to recognize same-sex and interracial marriages no matter what the future holds. This bill is simply the latest installment of the Democrats' campaign to delegitimize and attempt to intimidate the United States Supreme Court. And today, the Democrats bring forward a bill that is completely unnecessary. Why are the Democrats going down this path? Because, frankly, they have nothing else. We are here for a charade. We are here for political messaging. Democrats can't run, can't run on their disastrous record. They can't run on any accomplishments less than four months before an election. And all Democrats can do is stoke unfounded fears. And so that is why we are here with this bill. I, I hope we can defeat it. I hope it doesn't pass. I think, as I said, is unnecessary and wrong. And to Mr. Uh, Jordan's suggestion that this is not necessary, tell it to the millions of LGBTQ families that are worried about the Supreme Court's intention to whip, rip away more freedoms. They've taken away the freedom to reproductive care. They've hinted at taking away contraception. Justice Thomas urged them to look at marriage equality. This is real for families. And if it's not necessary, then vote for it. If you're right that we're, we're worried and we shouldn't be, reaffirm it. But don't hide behind that to, to justify your refusal to vote for marriage equality in this country, that every single American has a right to marry the person they love. Let me get to the, the issue of the day. This bill is just a, another superfluous exercise. This bill is completely and clearly unnecessary. And you know what? The sponsors of this bill know that. They, they know that we're in a very divisive time in the country, and, and, and they're, they're doing this anyway. This bill is not only unnecessary, it's more of the same. It's yet another effort to delegitimize the Supreme Court. Thank you, Speaker. I thank the gentleman from Ohio. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle paint with a broad brushstroke the language offered by Justice Clarence Thomas, a justice that I consider to be a friend and a great defender of the Constitution and a great member of the United States Supreme Court, despite being pilloried by the left uh, and laid out as something other than the great patriot that he is. Imagine telling the next generation of Americans, my generation, that we no longer have the right to marry who we love. Congress can't allow that to happen. I'm proud to introduce, along with my colleagues, including Representative Nadler, the Respect for Marriage Act, which would codify the right to marriage equality under federal law, but we have to do more than that we have to expand the Supreme Court of the United States to protect fundamental rights once and for all. I yield back.